What's going on, fans? This your boy, AB. Welcome to Might Breed TV, too. Guys, welcome to today's exclusive. This is going to be a movie review. I do these every once in a while. I know it doesn't get a whole lot of traction on my channel because I really don't do these a whole lot. Because <laughs> sometimes I don't really explain it very well. But, guys, let me, let me tell you this. I'm going to tell you guys straight up. There's, it's very unfortunate that there's hate going into this movie, even, bef even before the movie was even made. Girl power. We don't like Brie Larson. Ugh. Just like Ra Rachel Ziegler. Oh, we don't like Rachel Ziegler. And the Hunger Games prequel, you know, with snow and all that, that might track to be terrible. And, it, and it's already getting terrible reviews. And I'm like, look, stop with this bullshit. Stop it. Guys, I'm here to tell you, the movie is not bad at all. There's, there might be a few flaws, terrible things in it, but it's it's not bad. Just like with Ant Man, you know, with Kane the Conqueror, the best thing about it, and just like you know, Secret Invasion, Secret Invasion, if it would have had more time, more time with it, if they would have tweaked some things. I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't be complaining. Like, I, look, I'm not complaining at all. Look, I'm going to get right to it. The Marvels is not as bad as you think. I love with, you know, with Carol Danvers, you know, Brie Larson, Monica Rambeau, and then, you know, Miss Marvel, you know, Kamala Khan. Look, all three, of the, all three of these characters work very well with each other. Great chemistry, especially with Miss Marvel. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually a little bit surprised, man. There were there were some cringy moments with her, but it, it it wasn't to the point where I'm hating the movie. There were a few things I didn't like with her, but guess what? She she was damn near almost carrying the movie along with Brie Larson, Mon Monica Rambeau. Yeah, she's she's serviceable. She's serviceable. She's fine, but with all with the chemistry with with those with those three heroes, you know, teaming up and. I, I even thought initially that it wasn't going to work. I like, oh, man, it's, it's not Captain Marvel 2. They, they they initially changed the title to the Marvels. I'm like, uh, I was I was I was skeptical about that because I'm like, oh, man, they're doing a team up with us. Like because they're not confident in Brie Larson. I mean, and we, we even way back then, you know, looking at that, I was reading that article, looking at it, I was like, oh, man, they they have no faith. But you know what? It turned out to work just fine. The sequel, this right here, is better than the first one. My my mom even said that she enjoyed it. Um, you know, I I went to watch the movie with her. Um, she said it was about a seven out of ten. So, you know, it's you know almost almost above average. It's not bad at all. But guys, let me tell you something. The flaws that I have with it. The villain, sure, the villain is a throwaway and. That is an issue with Marvel. As, as far as for me, but with my with my issues with Marvel, they love doing recast. I hate when they do recast. I hate when they try to switch things up. And the villains sometimes they don't do a good job with the villains, even though we understand their motivation. I, I didn't mind the flashback with uh, you know, with, with the uh, with the villain in this movie, even though they with some people saying it's 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 a cheap gimmick to to make us feel something for the villain. No, there, there were some moments where I felt something. I felt something with her, but at the end of the day, we knew we knew she was a throwaway. We know she's a throwaway. There's nothing really to her. She's just like Ronan from the first Guardians of the Galaxy. You know the the animal humor. The animal humor. I wasn't really with that. I I didn't care too much for that. It's not, it's not something that I hated completely, but it's like, you know, it really didn't do nothing for me. Now the, the surprising thing. Like in the middle of the movie, where they go to this planet, and ev with everybody, sing everybody, you know, in order to talk or communicate with with one another, they they sing they sing what what they feel or whatever, and you know what that was probably the most <laughs> funny, ridiculous thing they they could have ever done. That was very unique. I know a lot of people didn't didn't like that, but I actually enjoyed that. Even though it did come out of nowhere, it came out of nowhere. <laughs> it caught us by surprise for sure. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll give it a pass because they tried to do something different. And you know what? 
I applaud them for that. So o overall, for me, I would give the movie at least a, a, a 6.8, almost damn near close to a 7. It's fine. It's Look, I tell you what, if this movie was to, was to come out on Disney+, Plus, I would watch that the first thing before I would look back at the at the first one. Because the first one, eh, e even even with me, even I would say it's not really remember I can I can remember the the plot and everything like that. Some people can't even remember that. But I don't think it has rewatchable value. Only has a few things. But the sequel, this is for sure has watch rewatchable value. And that and that's coming from me. And you know that the end credits and all that, even though with with me checking out, you know, the, the finale of, of Loki season two, bro, my worst fear is even though even though with that finale, you know, they, they saying Loki is the best thing that came out. Look, Loki is good. I'll give it that. Even though with episode five, I damn near dozed off and fell asleep because that shit the 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 show slowed down completely. But overall, the, the the show was good because I have to think about it. It was something actually different that they did in Marvel. Look, the the, the way it leads into, you know, it possibly could lead into Secret Wars. But my fear is with Jonathan Majors, King of Conquer, the way they wrote that in there in Loki season two saying, uh, he's, you know, he's just some of his variants. We're, we're going to find him and catch him. Uh, but there's, there's nothing to worry about. So that that even though with that finale, I was like that that was I, I enjoyed that finale. I'm also like, eh, I don't know. I might have to I might have to retract my words and pull that shit back because, bro, if they take away old dude Jonathan Majors. I don't know, man. I might be pissed off about that finale, dog. Even though it's that's not taking anything away from Loki. Loki, his glorious purpose was fulfilled, man. It was actually a great conclusion to him, bro. A great conclusion. Even even if, if even if they weren't to do a season three, hey, it, it it's fine. But as but as far as how that affects the Marvels with the new with Loki's, you know, with the new time, it, it could be new branches, new timelines. He probably affected something. So this is kind of a spoiler. I'm gonna say it with Monica Rambo going to a different universe. The X Men. The X Men, even though I said in in the previous video, I I don't know, man. It wasn't until you know Kelsey Grammer they brought they brought his beast back. If if they were to do something to bring back all of the you know the X Men from Days of Future Past, now if they do that and they don't do any recast, if they do it in a creative way and they got. A, a good storyline that that fits well, and they they don't, they don't just make shit up, and they, they don't just do it just to just to throw the X Men in there. If they got something really good, I might check it out. I I, I know I I know I told you I'm 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 a little bit I don't know about that. I'm skept I'm skeptical about that. But if they do that, I might be all for it. I might be all for it. But we'll we'll have to see we'll have to see what they do, man. The end credit scene definitely surprised me for sure. And then you know with Miss Marvel going up to Kate Bishop, you know that leads to the Young Avengers. That 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 was also a bit of a bit of a surprise too. So even even though you know we had with the Guardians three, Lord uh, Thor, Love and Thunder, and you know with Ant Man three, a lot of people didn't really care for that. Look, Kane the Conqueror. That that was the only thing watchable with Ant Man three, with people saying that they fell off. Look, even with the Marvels, with the with the end credit scene, I know some people say don't 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 let that end credit scene fool you into into thinking it was a good move. Look, with whatever real reject said with with Greg, man, he man he need to shut the hell up. Look, that right there, that tells you right there that you guys need to be patient. I know I'm 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 almost done. You know this the movie review. Look, in conclusion, stop complaining. Look in that end credit scene, they showed you that they're almost close. They're almost close. But this is a big universe. This phase is very different 
from the Infinity War phase. This is the multiversal saga. They're going to have new characters. It's going to take a while to build the universe up. With Miss Marvel already trying to team up with Kate Bishop and, and the rest of the Young, young Avengers, that's going to lead to the Young Avengers series. It might be a TV series. I would actually prefer it to be a movie, maybe. But who knows? You already have stuff that's going to be set in motion. And I'm curious to see where, it's, where, where um, things lead up to, you know, after the Marvels. Your boy had a great time with the movie. Like I said, it's about 6.8, 6.9. Out of 10, almost close to a 7. My mom gave it a 7 out of 10. The movie is, is fun. It's watchable. Better than the first one. I, I, I told you my flaws with it. You know, the, the, the animal humor, you know, the cats. The villain was a throwaway. A little bit of, little bit of awkward moments with the dialogue. But I tell you what, my, my, favorite, my favorite scene was when... You know the uh, the the quantum bands linked up with the three characters. They they up there fighting in different locations and they switch back. That along with the music, that that was the best part. Low key, the best part. The fight scenes were very very good, and that was the best part of the movie. But anyway, guys, give me your opinions on the Marvels. Did you guys enjoy it like I did? And I know it's gonna be some people that are gonna comment saying they didn't enjoy it. It's like Look, for y'all, I'm sorry for y'all. I'm sorry that you don't understand the phase and you're not smart enough to comprehend it. I'm sorry that you're not enjoying the phase. It's not for you. It's not for you then. But, and I'm sorry that you fell into the hate train like everybody. Like, y'all y'all expect me to fall, get on the hate train. And, and, and for some people, they, they haven't even seen the movie. I don't understand it. Y'all have no room to talk if you haven't even seen the movie. But the fact that some of you have seen the movie and with with, with all your hate in your head, with think about this, you 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 already were were um, conditioned to hate the film even before it came out. So the fact that y'all watched it and, and y'all still hated it and y'all let that get to y'all, I can't help y'all with that. Y'all 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 got no no passion. Y'all got no heart <laughs> for real. But anyway, guys. That's going to be the end of the video, man. And I will say this. The only thing that, like, we were conditioned to hate, you know, Rise of Skywalker with Star Wars. That was probably the only thing that, you know, everybody said it was bad. I didn't let that, I didn't let that hate get to me because I still went to see the movie. And even, even with me, I was like, yeah, I can see why this, this is terrible. And with my, with my personal opinion and my views on it, yeah, it, it, it most definitely, I, 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 there were a couple of good moments, but I was like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not feeling this, especially towards the end. Ray, Ray Skywalker, <laughs> fuck no, that was terrible. But guys, that's the end of the video. Give me your opinions on the Marvels. Did you enjoy it? I hope you did, man. I'm gonna always stay the same. I'm out.